It's 8.36. Well, now that the trees are turning green and the air is getting a lot warmer, a lot of people are looking ahead now to their summer vacations. If your vacation plans include flying, there are some things that you ought to know about airfares, things that can save you a lot of money. To tell us about them, Paul Grimes, the travel columnist for the New York Times, is back with us this morning. Good morning. Morning, Joan. It's nice to have you back. Well, it's nice to be back. You know, when we're going to get our airplane tickets, can we do it ourselves or do we need a travel agent? Well, it's a lot easier if you can go through a travel agent and let them do the work because they have the computers, they hopefully have the know-how, and the airfare situation is just an utter turmoil with so many changes happening so fast. It's hard to keep up. Just a little too confusing. Yes. How do you know, though, if you have a good travel agent? Well, it's sort of a sixth sense. How do you know whether you've got a good doctor? If you, the agent seems interested if the agent asks you a lot of questions about what you would like to do, uh, if the agent seems to be making phone calls on your behalf, doing a lot of reading, then it's usually pretty good. But if you have any hesitancy, just as with a doctor, get a second opinion. And I'm sure there are people at home saying, I'm not going to leave up my vacation plans to someone else. I want to make sure that they're right. I want to do it myself. What about those people? Right. How should they go about doing it? What can you do? First of all, if at any, any airline counter and at almost any travel agency, there is something called the official airline guide in two editions, one national, one international. And that can tell you what airlines fly where. If you have any difficulty reading it, it takes a little sophistication, but not much. And you can usually borrow it for use on the premises. If you have any difficulty, call an airline and ask who operates where. If the airline doesn't operate there themselves, they can find out in the computer who is operating. They cannot give you often up-to-date fares mm -hmm. on other airlines beyond their own, so then you have to do a little phone calling. But once you know who's flying, then you've got uh, phone calls to make and there are questions that you can ask. All right, what questions should we be asking? Okay, a checklist. One, is it cheaper to fly midweek or over a weekend or at a particular time of the day? Is it cheaper at night? Is it cheaper if you're willing to go on a plane that makes several stops instead of one, none stop? Is it cheaper if you buy far in advance? Is it cheaper if you buy a round trip? Is it cheaper if you stay away a minimum number of days? Is it cheaper to travel in a family group? Is it cheaper if you're a senior citizen? Sometimes there are discounts. And then, are there any special promotional fares that are in existence now or are pending because they're coming and going all the time? And, and it's necessary to ask all these questions I think because you should otherwise ask they them don't. All. And be as flexible as if you're a business traveler, you're locked in. We're yeah. talking about vacation travelers. Be flexible. Ask, ask, ask. They always say buy your ticket in advance. Are you, the last time you were on, I remember you told me that if you bought ahead of time that you were protected against airfare increases. Is that still true? That is still true, providing no expiration date has been announced for the fares. If you read a lot of the current advertising, you'll find the fare expires after oh, May really? 31st. If you want to go after that, you've got a whole new set of things to contend Read with. the small print. Right. Thanks, Paul, for coming in again. Well, thank you very much, Joan. We're going to be back in a moment. We are going to meet a woman whose former husband kidnapped their seven-year-old son. It took her more than two years to find her child and get him back. But first, this from Haynes Sheer Elegance. Hurry, they'll be here soon. And your legs, they look so silky. Are those silk stockings? <laughs> no, they're sheer elegance pantyhose, new from legs. They look and feel like real silk. Ooh, they're soft and smooth like silk, mm -hmm. and so sheer and luxurious. Mm, you look terrific. <laughs> it's sheer elegance. <laughs> Leave it to legs. Nothing beats a great pair of legs. New sheer elegance looks and feels like real silk. Kodak brings the instant to life. I am an American citizen. If Papa could only see his face. Introducing the Kodak Colorburst 350, the instant camera with a built-in close-up lens and the sharp, rich, vivid color of a hundred years of Kodak experience. You look like an American. <laughs> the new Kodak Colorburst 350. Kodak brings the instant to life. 
It's happening right now at Ramada Inns all over the USA. We're changing right before your eyes. At Ramada, we're creating comfortable new places to sleep in. We're building exciting new places to relax in. We're making Ramada Inns better and better. Ramada, we're changing right before your eyes. For instant confirmed reservations at any Ramada, call toll-free 800-228-2828. You won't find them in a Sealy. You won't find them in a Serta. You won't find them in a Stearns and Foster. But you will find them in a Beauty Rest by Simmons. Hundreds of these exclusive Beauty Rest coils. They're wrapped individually so they're free to move separately to give every part of your body the kind of firm, comfortable support you won't find anywhere but here. Buy your Beauty Rest set now, and you'll also find special savings on Beauty Rest bed frames. 18 minutes uh, before 9 right now. Child snatching, uh, in most cases, is the kidnapping of a child by a divorced parent uh, who is unhappy the other parent got custody. This is not uncommon. Uh, it happens to about 100,000 children every year. Uh, for the parent who has been granted legal custody, getting the child back through legal means is extremely difficult. Even locating of the child can be an horrendous problem. Well, last summer, an organization was formed to help parents in this situation. The organization is called Child Find. And last week, the group had its first real success. Uh, there was an article in uh, the April uh, uh, Ladies' Home Journal. It showed uh, this picture of a boy named James Kennedy. And there's the picture from Ladies' Home Journal. He was snatched by his father uh, more than two years ago. Someone who read the story, recognized James, called Child Find, and last week James, who is 10 now, uh, was reunited with his mother, Patricia Kennedy. And Mrs. Kennedy is with us this morning, along with Gloria Yurkovich. She is the founder of Child Find, and also Lev Fedinyak. Uh, he is a security consultant. He helped Pat Kennedy find her son and, and get him back. Good morning to all. Nice to have you with us this morning. morning. Briefly, Mrs. Kennedy, describe what it's like to have your child stolen. Well, I, I lost a child in death, right. and I have a great faith, and this was more difficult than that was. Is that... As I understand it, now you had custody of your son, you mm -hmm. had him with you, and your husband snatched him away, took him right out of school with a teacher chasing after. No, this, this was after he had snatched him. At the time, there was not custody. There was a visitation order. Okay. He had access to the child only on those occasions, stated in the order. All right. He picked him up for a visitation. Right. He did not bring him back when kept he was supposed to. Kept him. He entered him in a school thinking the courts would let him keep him. And it was at that point that he was ordered to produce him in court that he went to the school that he'd entered him in. And they were expecting me to pick him up, that he took him out of the school by force. To get him back, were you able to do it legally? Or did you have to snatch James back? Not snatch in the usual sense. Right. Uh, you and I, it I think Lev, Lev agrees with me. That's the that's the worst possible way psychologically for the child. Psychologically, yeah. Lev, what did you do to get him back? And what what did you find when you went to the school? You went to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. How did you get him back? We located the school where James was at, mm -hmm. and under the Uniform Child Custody Act, we were able to go through the the legal proceedings and get James back through channels rather than having to go through a snatching situation. Right, and you went to the school, right? I went to the school with the, with the state police, right. having filed a uh, copy of the uh, custody papers, and with their cooperation, we were able to bring James from the school, we were able to check and make sure he was physically all right, that he wasn't hurt, and um, under the act, Pat had custody, even in Pennsylvania, having filed a certified copy of the custody papers, right. and we just left uh, for New York immediately thereafter. What was James' reaction when you were there, what, in the principal's office or the state We were in the principal's or, office with what? the state police. How did he react? When we told him that his mother was here, the first reaction was one of shock more than anything else. You could just see it in his face. What he didn't he believe told? it. What, what had he been told? We're not about? sure at this point. At one, in one instance, we're, we were told that uh, he was told that his mother was dead. And if not that, that at least he was not going to see his mother anymore that they were not going to live together, they were not going to see each other anymore. And uh, using that as the basis, you could see that he was visibly upset when he said, 
his mother was here and wanted to see him very, very badly. Your, the process, your, during this process, your husband had, had James in three different <coughs> states, which suggests he went to extraordinary means to, to right. make sure you wouldn't find them. Yes. What are you doing now? Are you afraid this could happen again? Are you afraid he could Very take much so. You are. What That's are you why doing I'm to prevent here, it? To have James's face on that camera. So that everybody will so be everybody able to There will be no place he'll be able to take James. And are you going home now with him? Uh, I had hoped James? to, however... Um, Yankee fan. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely. Um, I had intended to after today to go home. I don't know really what to do at this point because we've, we've had indications that his father has, is away on a trip over this weekend. So you're afraid it could happen And I'm again. afraid that it could happen again. Gloria, you're still looking for your daughter. Yes, right? after for six and a half years. Still looking. Mm -hmm. Is that why you founded Child Find? Yes, <clears throat> because I went through, I think, everything that is presently or has been available to parents to do. We went through the legal maze and found that there was no help there. We resorted to investigators for and um, spent an awful lot of money and of course without results. And uh, I, I reached a point where I knew I had done everything that I possibly could do. And I had to back back and say, <clears throat> what does a person do in this situation Beyond what I have done, there has to be a better answer. And being a problem solver myself, <laughs> I began to think about how it could be done. And Excuse me, is that Joanna? That's Joanna. She beautiful? Mm -hmm. She's 12 years old now. She's gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead, you're a problem solver. <clears throat> so I began to, knowing what didn't work, I began to think about what would work. It, the, the needle in the haystack approach, what I, which I call it, is just about an impossibility unless you have a fluke. And children have often been discovered by a fluke. But I began to observe that children's photographs who were published um, were being located and that this was probably the most efficient means to locate a child, that somebody out there would recognize the child. And so I, after Child Find being in the conceptual stage for about three years, I finally embarked upon it last May. It just, the time had come. And briefly, how does it work? Child Find has a long-term goal and a short-term goal. And the long-term goal is that we are actually reaching out to the children themselves. We are giving the children information through posters in the schools, through children's magazines. We'll be working with producers of children's television programs to get the word out to children that they themselves are not helpless anymore and that, that, that it's all right. There's some place they can There's go. There's some place that they can they call. Can call. Right. And <clears throat> of course we also um, publish the children's pictures and the perfect example is this one where the Ladies Home Journal did a story. They were going to do a story about seven months ago. They contacted us. We're going to do a story <laughs> on missing children. And uh, they wanted some of our children's pictures. They wanted to not only to tell the story but to be helpful too. And, of course, James's picture was published. Um, a teacher somewhere who cared about James and noticed that there, was, that there was something that this little boy needed. She cared very much about him, and she contacted us. What are the effects on the children, again, briefly, uh, uh, being kidnapped and re-kidnapped and forced? And I, mean, I know force is used in many, many cases, the stealing of children, the kidnapping of children. What are the effects on the children? James is doing beautifully, but that isn't necessarily true in every case. I mean, uh, um, some of them are, are traumatized terribly. He has problems, and he will have problems, and he will need counseling. But now There's you can work to resolve yes. those. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, thank you all. We're going to continue in just a moment. Professor Arthur Miller of Harvard Law School is going to join us uh, to talk about some of the legalities of this uh, business as well. Ten minutes before nine right now. X is for extra sexy. X is for extra dazzling. And now X is for extra body. Introducing brand new Flex X. Extra body shampoo with balsam and protein. Plus an extra Revlon bodybuilder no other shampoo has. Feel the extra rich lather. The extra sexy body you get. X marks the spot. X marks the winner. X marks the newest Flex. Extra body shampoo and extra body conditioner too. From Revlon. Extra beautiful. When you mix kids, eggs, and Hinkle paint on Easter egg colors, magic happens. 
Children of all ages love creating their own designs with these instant drying high gloss paint on colors. And there's some magic for mom too. No mixing, no mess. So for convenience, color, and just plain fun, buy your Hinkle paint on colors today. The family favorite since 1893. Hinkle paint on Easter egg colors are exactly the magic you've been looking for at your favorite grocery, variety, drug, and discount store. This Friday, Swashbuckling Adventure is back with beauty, passion, sword play, horse play, four play, and fun. Bo Bridges as a king. Bo Bridges as the king's twin. With Sylvia Crystal. Ursula Andres, Olivia de Havilland, Jose Ferrer, and Rex Harrison. Absolutely extraordinary. The Fifth Musketeer, Friday at 9, 8 Central and up on ABC. Sunday on Omnibus, see a side of JR you don't know exists. Don Meredith takes an in-depth look at the most controversial subject in sports. And B. Arthur reveals... How to get the upper hand with a man. And the magic of David Bowie. Then at a special time, 8, 7 Central and Mountain. Let my people go. A spectacular holiday event, the Ten Commandments. Eight minutes before nine, we are continuing our discussion about child snatching. Joining us now, our legal expert, Professor Arthur Miller of the Harvard Law School. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning, David. Good morning. Uh, when somebody snatches a child um, away from the parent who has custody, is that is that kidnapping? Can it no. be prosecuted as kidnapping? Not technically, David. Most of the kidnapping statutes, like the famous Lindbergh Law, exclude the taking of a child from one parent by another parent. It is a crime, however, in about 30 states. But I really think it's unrealistic to think that the criminal law is going to deter people who are acting out of emotion or who are themselves unbalanced who are willing to disrupt their whole lives and run from state to state with children. I don't think the answer is in calling them criminals. All right, you said 30 states, implying, I, I guess, that the laws are different in, yes, in many, many states. Does this mean that by state jumping, jumping state lines, that, that, a, that a, someone who steals a child away is actually using the law to their own benefit? Is that? Traditionally, yes, because a court always wants to know what's in the best interest of the child and that is determined today tomorrow the next day so a child snatcher who doesn't go into hiding often establishes a new life puts the child into school and then says to the judge you see it's in the best interest of the child to leave him alone and the court will say I'm not bound to follow the custody decree of some other state I think it's best to leave him right where it is so you have the crazy notion of the mother, let's say, having custody in New York and the father having custody in Florida. Fortunately, there have been some changes lately. Uh, there's been a uniform child custody law in most states that requires the second state to honor the first state. And just last year, President Carter signed a parental kidnapping statute, which makes it a, a federal law that every state in the union must honor the first custodial decree. And that's, that's extremely important. It also opens up the Federal Locator Service and uh, enables the FBI to get involved so that perhaps in the future you will get more assistance from governmental units than you've been able to get in the past. But it, one thing is critical here, David. If any of our viewers is, is in a sense in jeopardy or feels that they're in jeopardy, these statutes, which are the wave of the future, do not operate unless the parent has legal custody. So it's very important that if you're worried, you establish legal custody so that you can get all of these legal protections legal in, the, in the unholy event that this happens. Legally, it sounds like the steps are going in the right direction finally. Is it, was that fair? Finally. It has taken a long time. It's required a lot of cooperation, state to state, federal government to states. And I think these statutes will get stronger and stronger as time goes on. Arthur Miller, thank you. Thank you all very much. Good luck with child find. And I might wind this up by saying if you are a child watching, listening this morning, and you would like to try to locate your other parent, 
call us phone number. It is area code 914-691-7394. Child find 914-691-7394. If you want to find your other parent, they'll try to help you. Thank you all very much. Good luck. Thank you. Four minutes up. We'll be back after these words. In the beginning, there was only one. Thank you. Thank Ms. Mama you. Mama, thank you all very much. A pleasure. Mm -hmm. Mine. Thank, thank you all very much. Back in just a minute after these words from True Value Heart. Balsamin protein, plus an extra Revlon bodybuilder no other shampoo has. Feel the extra rich lather, the extra sexy body you get. X marks the spot, X marks the winner, X marks the newest flex. Extra body shampoo and extra body conditioner too, from Revlon. Extra beautiful. You won't find them in a Sealy. You won't find them in a Serta. You won't find them in a Stearns and Foster. But you will find them in a Beauty Rest by Simmons. Hundreds of these exclusive Beauty Rest coils. They're wrapped individually so they're free to move separately to give every part of your body the kind of firm, comfortable support you won't find anywhere but here. Buy your Beauty Rest set now, and you'll also find special savings on Beauty Rest bed frames. Thursday, an escapee from the smoking clinic hits the 12. Ashtrays full of soggy, stinking cigarette butts. Charming, isn't it? And a con woman takes Louis to court. A million dollars. But he takes the law into his own hands on Taxi. Then 2020 reveals the scientific facts for those who believe in Christ, those who don't, and those who wonder. Geraldo Rivera's unprecedented report will startle you. Late night tonight, do you, Jack Nicholson, and you, Warren Beatty, take Aristocker Channing till death do you part? Money. So all anybody cares about. Love has turned to hate. I can't stand being with the two of you. Suicide. It takes three to tango when her fortune is at stake. Ah, uh, We were supposed to take her out of the trunk. Now how is that going to look like suicide? The fortune. Late night tonight. Tomorrow, here on Good Morning America, we'll talk about the return of the Space Shuttle Columbia. We'll also explore the very special relationship that, uh, that exists between grandparents and children. Also tomorrow, as we continue our week-long series, Anthony Quinn remembers the one and only Cecil B. DeMille, so we'll see you then. As we say, make it a good day at the end of this hour. Watch. These are the final pictures from the Space Shuttle Columbia. They came in just a few minutes ago. Here they are uh, coming over California, over the United States at this point. The final pictures from Space Shuttle Columbia. And we hope uh, the first of many such pictures that we'll be receiving in the years to come from space. Today, the Space Shuttle Columbia returns to Earth. Join Frank Reynolds from the landing site at Edwards Air Force Base and Max Robinson from Shuttle Control in Houston for live coverage of this historic event beginning at 12 noon Eastern. And see a complete wrap-up tonight on ABC's World News Tonight.